When we wear wigs, I think the goal is always to make it as undetectable as possible. And one of the ways we can do that is with a human hair wig. So I've partnered with a company called WigShe, who is a provider of human hair wigs and toppers. And they've sent me a wig that I'm going to try and I'm going to show you all the features and benefits and talk you through how the ordering process went. So first thing is, is that they have sent me a beautiful pink box. And this just lets you know that there's something special inside with all the extra details with the gold trim and the pretty um, ribbon. Your hair is sent in a satin bag and that's going to protect the hair. Now an order can take anywhere from 30 to 40 days to arrive. Inside the box was more pink. I just adore pink and so the confetti <laughs> made me so happy. Um, we have a thank you card from them. We also have a wig grip. I wear wig grips with every wig that I wear. It just helps me to feel more secure. Um, now this is a glueless wig, so it is going to be, um, it is going to help you feel more secure without having to use glue. Um, some of you may choose to do that because you just, you don't want any accidents happening. You just want that wig staying put and that's fine, but um, it is considered a glueless wig. So I have chosen wig number 021. This is the brown biolage wig. I have 16 inches here. Um, I measured it, I think I got a couple of extra inches and that's fine because I actually wanted a, I wanted a little bit longer so that I had the option in the future of cutting it. And I am going to probably customize it by putting in some bangs and some um, face framing layers, but I wanted to show you right out of the box. This is the color that is pictured on the Wigshi website. It's a brown biolage. It's a medium brown with some light brown biolage highlights. This came pre-styled with some curl in it. Now the cap is a lace front and you have a very, very generous lace area, area here. So you have ample parting space. Now there are combs. If you like to wear combs, you could easily remove this if they're not something that you like. Two at the temples, one in the back at the nape, and actually one right at the crown area. And this one is a little bit different than these, um, than these clips, these snap clips. I've pre-cut this lace just to make it easier to show you. Um, we have bendable ear tabs, I think. Wait, <laughs> maybe not. No, no bendable ear tabs, my mistake, I apologize. Um, Look how pretty that parting space is. I just get excited. It's been pre-plucked, so you're not going to get that, you know, like tunnel. Do you know what I'm talking about? You get just a tunnel of hair and you have to pluck it. This is incredibly, incredibly realistic looking. And so I cut that lace. They give you about a two inch lace. The lace extends from temple to temple. Um, now, there are many ways that you can customize this wig or personalize it for yourself. And I really like that about wig she. Um, I had choices. And so this made it feel more like my wig, um, you know, made especially for me because it was actually. Um, so let's see, there are three sizes to choose from, small, average, and large, which makes a huge difference in how that wig is gonna lay for you and how it's going to fit on you. I wear a small wig and oftentimes I have a lot of excess cap in the back and I get a bump back here, very unnatural looking. So um, we went over, the, um, the customer service people over at Wig Sheet went over my measurements with me. They sent me a chart and we determined that the small was going to be the best size for me. And I encourage you to speak with them because they 
go over everything with you. There were no surprises. I got exactly what we talked about. Um, there are two density options. My option I chose was 120%. I think that this is very, very realistic. You don't have an overabundance of hair making it look wiggy. You also have lengths that you can choose between 12 and 22 inches. You can also choose the knot. And the knots are where they tie the hair in. Uh, other companies have very thick, visible knots. Sometimes they even double knot them. And this has very tiny little knots. And you can choose to have them lightly bleached or fully bleached. My choice was lightly bleached, and I think it looks wonderful. The lace they use is Invisible HD Lace. It's meant to just melt into your skin and so let's pop her on and see if she's everything I thought that she was going to be. So I didn't have to, um, the adjusters, you have standard adjusters back here, I didn't have to move them in at all because the small cap fit me so perfectly. But you do have that option, know that you can move it in um, an inch or so. Okay, you know what? I do I do think there is bendable ear tabs. So the hair is coming right. This is my hair. Um, it's a little gray. I would have to I have to conceal that a little bit. But it's coming right framing my ear right there. Great coverage. It's covering all the hair on the side of me. There's your parting space. Let me just put a little comb on it. It's been sitting in a box for a long time, so we have to let it breathe and brush out some of those curls. It's very, very, very soft. Um, the texture is much different than a synthetic wig, in my opinion. So I haven't decided where I'm going to part it yet, and I'm going to have to play around with that. So... This is wig number 021, and the color is as shown on the website. And my experience was wonderful because I could communicate with them. I could personalize this with all the things that I talked to you about. And I'm very thankful to Wig She for giving me this opportunity to try human hair wig because I will feel confident when I wear this. There's no question about it. Um, so stay tuned and I will be styling this and perhaps even customizing it a little bit more in the future.